Well, Washington State School District is under fire for cutting music classes. The reasoning? You'll never guess it. It's white supremacy. The Olympia School District voted last week to get rid of band and orchestra for fourth grade students after one board member claimed the course was rooted in white supremacy. The board's director explained the decision this way. We're a school district that lives in as an entrenched and that is surrounded by white supremacy culture. And that's a real thing. And there's nothing about string or wind instrumental music that is intrinsically white supremacist. Um, however, the ways in which it is and the ways in which all of our institutions inculcate and allow white supremacy culture to continue to be propagated and cause significant institutional violence um, are things that we have to think about carefully as a community. And over to Jason Chaffetz for a translation. <laughs> this is so shameful. I mean, get, why are the things that bring us all together and unite us? And music is one of those things. It's something that a child can learn and use the rest of their life. It can touch their hearts. That has nothing to do with race and shame on them for cutting it out. Reading, writing, arithmetic, let's do that. But they should also have music. I really think it's important. I think I missed out a lot in my life by not engaging more in music and we're talking about fourth graders for goodness sake of course they should be engaged in music so music promotes white supremacy culture and significant institutional violence i think you have some thoughts they, they didn't say how right and and this yeah. is just a, a wonderful billboard for school choice parents if you want your children to learn music take them to a different school take them to a music heavy school leave this god-awful system leave these institutions behind they're harming your children uh, do you think this talking point is a good one for the left, Marie? No, I look, well, I'm not sure that guy represents the left. I, won't, I think he I won't does. Claim I, him. I'm not claiming um, him on the right. He's I, certainly not I in think, my party. Um, I think we need more music education in our schools, not less. We need more children learning about the arts. And look, one of the ways to fight against racism or things that this person cared about is through the arts, is through expanding your cultural horizon. So teach them yeah. jazz. A, a great American art form. A great American art form. But right, I mean, this is this is like nonsense. I, this is crazy. It is. Emily, um, apparently one parent said not just one or two students are fleeing the school district because they are pretty radical in general. She said hundreds. Ugh, and this is Olympia. You know, this is the capital of Washington State. It, this breaks my heart. We all know that music is fundamental. It opens worlds for children. I'm so grateful that I started playing the piano at age four, in part because of my public school's music program. It has enriched my life. You read auto, I read uh, Lenny Kravitz's autobiography. He talked about his exposure to music at such a young age. Alicia Keys with her piano music teacher. The, the greats um, and just average Joes. They have benefited so much from music. There are so many nonprofits out there, like the, the Fender Music Association and, and Save Our Music. They are working nonstop to restore music to these underfunded, underprivileged school districts. And now they're just getting wiped away because of a, a woke reason. You have to ensure then that it's equal. If there really are issues that they see, then fix it, to Kennedy's point. Identify with specificity and fix it, but don't harm and, and really deny these children um, the possibilities of growing their world so much. There are so many people trying to increase and expose children to music and it, it just this really breaks my heart. And you know when we're being indoctrinated in corporate America like you can't even pick up a beer can without like some kind of virtue signaling. Music is inherently unifying. You go to a concert people leave their politics aside and just enjoy it Kennedy. Yeah Paul Ryan used to listen to Rage Against the Machine. They asked him to stop and he said nope because it inspired him. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.